welcome to BSc Statistics students. In this class, uh, I explain the definition of critical reason. It's very very important in the testing hypothesis. Uh, if you consider a sample space, sample space S, yes, uh, there are two particular possible decisions of considering that sample. The sample may be based on the information of the sample. Uh, our statement the about the population it may be accepted or rejected. May be accepted or rejected. The two kinds of decision we can formulate in any kind of uh, uh, testing hypothesis. We are testing the hypothesis. What we are doing? We are testing certain statement about the population. That is hypothesis. That's statistical hypothesis. And here now uh, we can specify clearly. We are testing a null hypothesis against to a particular alternative hypothesis. We are testing two hypotheses. Uh, we are testing whether uh, null hypothesis uh, for by formulating null and alternative two hypotheses. We are testing null hypothesis whether it is uh, uh, accepted or rejected. That is our entire uh, procedures, testing procedures, procedures of testing hypothesis. So always we are looking to whether the hypothesis is going to be accepted or rejected. Null hypothesis is going to be accepted, particularly whether the null hypothesis for formulated null hypothesis is accepting or rejecting. For this only, this entire study is going to be conducted. Is it clear? So, entire study is going to be conducted to study the whether the uh, which kind of decision is going to be taken for uh, null hypothesis formulated null hypothesis, whatever formulated null hypothesis. So, for which uh, there may be two decisions, either maybe uh, null hypothesis may be accepted or null hypothesis may be rejected, right. So, in which uh, you see here that is the reason why in the sample space, uh, yes we are considering some number of uh, um, sample observations that is for example, you consider x1, x2, xn as a sample observations which are drawn from the sample. This entire procedure is done through the sampling. Remember that whatever the population statements we have made, all the population statements are testing or tested, or we are doing the we are doing uh, test procedures based on the sample observations. That is the reason why we have considered x1, x2, and so on, xn. Why we have considered x1, x2, xn? Because because the sample because by considering the sample, we are doing the test procedures. We are testing the hypothesis, we are testing the null hypothesis uh, particularly, right. So, therefore, we consider one after another particular point sample observation. If the sample observation is, uh, for example, it is accepted, uh, if, uh, for example, uh, we consider a manufacturing in a particular manufacturing uh, procedure, manufacturing. Uh, uh, company uh, is producing some number of items in which uh, uh, we are we have taken some particular sample number of observations that is sample number of items for example 10 items have been considered we are testing one one item and after another item if the item is uh, defective then uh, we consider it is going to be rejected and then uh, the rejection uh, 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 the re the point the whatever the rejected points are going to be um, fall in this particular region. We are framing two regions here: one W, another one W complement. The entire sample space is divided into two regions: W and W complement. W represents a rejection region. W complement represent, represents acceptance region. So two regions we have. So whichever the sample point uh, is rejected. Uh, then we have to uh, form a particular region and uh, we have to uh, throw in this particular region that sample point we have to put in this particular region and uh, whichever the point is going to be accepted then we have to uh, put in this particular region. So, just like that after testing whichever the points which are uh, which are in the uh, rejected region that is in the W. w in the uh, region W, which uh, whichever the sample points fall in this particular region, uh, which formulates rejection region. Now we see the definition. 
we consider the sample space s yes, and let us divide the sample space s into two disjoint parts w and w complement that is what we have discussed the region w consists of the sample points for which the null hypothesis is rejected then when it is true when we do this particular uh, uh, when the sample point is going to be uh, set to be rejected it is going to be rejected it is going to be considered with the help of the null hypothesis uh, when the null hypothesis is rejected is when it is true even though it is true if it is rejected the sample point sample uh, the sample is going to be that is whatever based on the sample the sample points uh, uh, the information obtained from the sample uh, if it is going to be rejected so that is uh, uh, what we have to specify in this particular uh, concept uh, uh, whatever the sample point w is nothing but consists of the sample points for which the null hypothesis is rejected when it is true so in a case where the null hypothesis is true but it is going to be rejected the sample points are going to be uh, put in this particular region that is called w it is called region of rejecting h0 region of rejecting h0 when h0 is true that simply to specify the uh, rejection region or the critical region that is called critical region the region of the sample points for which the null hypothesis is rejected when it is true is called critical region the critical region is nothing but region of rejecting the uh, null hypothesis uh, uh, when uh, it is true it is called critical region the critical region is nothing but uh, uh, region of the sample points for which the null hypothesis is rejected when it is true even though null hypothesis is true that is even though uh, producer or entrepreneur for example in this particular case i am explaining the producer or entrepreneur uh, are, are producing uh, good number of items even though uh, good items qualitative items even though uh, the consumer is not uh, accepting that is null hypothesis is going to be rejecting hypothesis is going to be rejecting so such uh, uh, um, uh, region of the sample points is known as critical region hope you understand this is one example i am giving it's not a uh, general true example it's not general true right in general it is not true we're going to consider right uh, this is what one best example i can uh, uh, i can furnish here i can uh, give to you i can uh, explain to you right so this is what the region of simply that's a very very simple definition the region of the sample points for which the null hypothesis is rejected when it is true it is called critical region this w is called critical region in this particular figure this is acceptance region rejection region is nothing but it is known as critical region hope you understand the critical region is nothing but uh, region of rejecting the sample points uh, the region of the sample points for which the null hypothesis is rejected are simply region of rejecting null rejecting null hypothesis uh, when h0 is true it is called critical region thank you thank you so much